this I will look on a lot of options and next what I want to look it is on some properties that we have it so if you look in a file we have it sessions we can open but inside the world commands we also have it project world and preferences so let's go ahead you can access them directly from here or you also have it access preferences and world extended resolutions directly from the top so I'm going to click on the preferences and right here we have a global world machine preferences okay so right here we have a world machine preferences and again let me put this I'm using for the discovering for the series of tutorial the world machine the basic they can free download it and in our other tools we'll use it standard edition or professional so you'll see a little bit different and I'll point to them but right now as we're going this is um, for the basic edition so you'll notice right here multi-threading behavior we have it only two available and if you're using the other editions you'll have it more multi-threadings available to you based on processor so right here you can specify also how many threads you want dedicated to uh, work or to th for the build as well if you are allowed to use multi-threading currently perform background preview is not enabled for this version so next I have it memory and caching currently it says to about 45 46 gigabyte um, on my machine I have it 64 gig on this so it's take a lot of memories and uh, normally I you find it's about 8 gigabytes it's work just fine under this but higher you have it the more uh, beep maps you can produce higher resolution also you can allow the work machine to page data to disk uh, this is work very well if you have a smaller amount of memory build options display static after statistic after build and you notice sometimes when I press it's showing me how it's like take longer to build another thing so if you want it or you can hide you also can after hide if uh, you don't press on a button so it just doesn't kind of hang around also you can have it on a wall build you can show after in 3d last view or 2d currently set to nothing in some case you can optimize when you press build it's going to take you to 3d world and you can preview as well it will specify use low priority as a threat so for example in your computer it doesn't overtake it and if you set higher sometimes it may feel like your application is froze when it's take higher priorities okay let's look on a graphic options and right here we have a preview resolution and you remember when we look on this high or other resolution currently it's using 192 pixels you can increase this but base it on um, your machine performance it's maybe not recommended so use it and you can increase slightly see if it's work okay for all of this and if it does you can keep it or you can decrease after it's become kind of hard to use okay we have a display options that we use this um, currently it's all default values and we use a detailed texture for 3d terrain so it's provide more details obtain mask display hits it's nice to use when you are um, just beginning again a smooth color 3d it's disabled by default and it's add just a little bit nicer look on the gradients again but will take a little bit longer time to render and each small settings it's not very significant increase in the performance but combination of them can do effect dramatically performance of your machine so be sure you enable those that you really need to use okay and next show 3d preview on 2d monitor if you have it and show wireframe for the mesh object so this is all enabled okay, we have an advanced layout and explore options sections where we have it use fastest uh, method display and example when you have it these triangles or squares kind of going around so it's look a little bit more um, not as pleasant not high details and you always can uh, rebuild and use higher possible display method if you need it but this is by default and also use the same fix it it is all capability with your video card or with your machine so you can enable disable based on a performance okay set sky color currently you can see in a 
dark and you can bake lighting in a terrain terrain so it's easy when you produce um, in my settings because I'm just using height map and I will use this in another Vue application when I used all my lighting and everything I don't need this check in but based on your workflow you maybe want to increase it also right here is texture uh, memory cache limit 256 a little bit less for my video card I can put it more but I don't really use that much texture in this application so 256 will work fine however if you want to work with textures directly I'll recommend a little bit increase that okay path it's a location so you can specify in my cases and why I set on different drives my all storage and documentation folder um, and it's again depend on your settings this is my workflow order or you can set to the network drive if you need it to share information so for me it's where I said my program was installed on C drive and I'm using my other drive to have all information or work information there okay also you have it UI enable so you can have it mouse will enable zoom right wire show tool tips which as do recommend when you're beginning show the tool tips enable show parameter inputs as well as the warnings and a snap device to the grid so right here going you also can invert the X and Y rotation for the control um, if you need it but again it's depend um, if you like it currently you can enable left side mouse control schema rotation or this depend what you prefer in some cases I left as default but when I go to customization I do rotate with a different mice uh, mouse point so I will probably change some to customize to fit workflow that I have in my other applications so right here this is general world machine preferences and you can kind of open and set up them on beginning when you close you no know, open sessions those parameters still be remember and will affect your every sessions that you work after 